Okay, hello everyone. I'm Raven Ninja. Today we're gonna be playing a game called Detroit Become Human. Or yeah, Detroit Become Human. Uh, I played this game before a while ago. Streamed it, all that cool stuff. But it's been a while since I played it. So yeah, I wanna play for you guys and all that. So yeah. I know a little bit, but let's just get into this. Alright, nice and fancy suit and tie. Here we go. Negotiator on site. Negotiator on site. Yep, that's me. A negotiator. Fishy! Hello. How did you get out of your glass? Save the fish. Why would I not? There we go. Fish is more important. What's this right here? A family portrait. Philip Shine. Uh, okay. So that's the family we're dealing with here. Oh, oh hello. Please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. We you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Hey now, I have feelings too. It may be robotic, but I got feelings. I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. Hi. I'm here. Hello. Hi. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. And that is me. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it. That's no good. If it falls, she falls. Really? Well, what have guessed? Anyways, uh, deactivation code. Have you tried its deactivation code? It's the first thing we tried. Uh, what's this? Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. Uh, so okay, yeah, I get that. Fucking android now. I'll take care of it. I think you would have taken care of it by now if you could have. So, let's leave me to do my job. Let's analyze this thingy. There's a gun case. Think the gun is missing. I'm not too sure. And the bullets. And reconstruct. Let's see what happened here. So, this guy. He decided to take the gun off the shelf. Deviant took father's gun. Cool. I mean, not cool. But Deviant has a gun. That's definitely not cool. Um, let's see what else can we do. Uh, what's in here? Look at. Bathroom? Okay, I don't think anything in the bathroom. Just go into the victim. I mean, the hostage room. See what's going on here. The video. Play. Oh, pl play. There we go. So, buddy's name is Daniel. Okay. Uh, new dialogue this cool. So she was listening to music very loudly in very uncomfortable headphones it looks like. Doesn't look no comfortable at all. Everything else in here? Yeah, that's about it. Uh, where do we go from here? Uh, right into the heart of the action. Let's go see what's going on with the dead guy here. Deceased. It's kind of obvious. Got like four bullet holes. I would hope he's deceased. Or he's just insanely, I don't know, scary because he can survive this. Alright, let's see. How did he die? He was shot in the back. Ooh, that's a dirty move. 
He was holding something. iPad. Dang. That was overkill. You need to do better like that. Let's go see what he was looking at. Ooh, somebody got jealous and decided to go on a rampage. Okay, that is not good. Yeah. Let's maybe not put ourselves in the line of fire. See, is this guy dead? Definitely dead. Missing a gun. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, what's that thing? Oh, child was not shot at. It was right next to the deviant. Deviant was shot, and his gun got thrown on the floor over there. All right, I know what happened now, and I'm gonna take the gun just in case, because you know, always nice to have a gun on me. Yeah, turn off the stove, and that's very important, you know. Kind of save that electricity. Hello? Oh yeah, look at, look at Century Cyber Life, whatever that thing is. All right, I think I'm ready to go. Leave me to do my wait. I gotta look at some blue blood and lick it because that's what everybody does. Just look blue blood off the floor. Oh yes, uh, Android model is a PL600. I know what that means. All right, probably success. 81. Let's go. Okay, and we're already shot at. Nice. That's really cool. Don't come any closer or I'll jump. No, no, please, I'm begging you. Yeah, no, 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 no. No jump. Got a lot of eyes on you, pal. Hi, Daniel. I know your name. My name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. Mostly everything I found in the house, which is not my but I know your name. That doesn't look good. Uh, let's be glad that all that stuff didn't hit the guy that's laying on the floor. Maybe dead? Probably dead? There's a chair in my- oh, calm. I know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me. And let me help. I don't want your help. Nobody can help me. All I want is for all this to stop. I just want all this to stop. He is not okay, but alive. That he's that's a good blood. sign. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. That's the. Does it matter if this one dies now? Because he still got some life. Don't touch him. Touch him, and I kill you. I'm going to touch him. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Okay, that that's not good, but we got that guy a tourniquet, so that's good. Are you armed? Uh, truth. Yes, I have a gun. Drop it. No sudden moves, or I'll shoot. Maybe get his trust a little bit. There. There we go. We got the thing no back up. Gun. Uh, possible cause. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. Um. I thought I mattered. Uh huh. But I was just their toy. That so start. When you're done with Emma and you. I know you and Emma were very close. Close to falling she off the ledge. You, she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Okay. First got no emotion for him. Uh blaming, sympathetic, realistic. Uh blaming. 
Look what you did. Okay, that's not you what I meant. To serve humans, not kill them. What was I designed to be? That's not what I meant. A slave? Their toy? I just wanted them to care about me. I just wanted to matter. I thought that was gonna be like a different I type of blaming. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Yeah, shoo. Fly away. Yeah, get out of here. There. I did what you wanted. Uh trust. You have to trust me, Daniel. Lie for him. Go and I promise you, everything will Gain his trust and lie. Because the robot doesn't I know. Want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Sacrifice stuff? Compromise. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. Okay. Reassure. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing okay, good. To you. you have my word. Okay. I trust you. Fill up bullet straight into him. Oh yeah, he's not living from this. Yeah, I kind of lied to him. You lied. You lied to me, Connor. Yes, I did. You lied to me. Oh, dang, look at those eyes. Yeah, wa walk out of there. Mission done. Job completed. Oh, chart. Taking the past yet to be explored and possibilities you've unlocked. You should know the prince. Oh, okay. Spend an extra. Spend. All right. Honor died protecting Emma. Oh, that's another path that I, that I could have done, which I guess I did before. Cool. Um. Oh yeah, paths I've done before. I sacrificed myself here. Huh. Nice. Uh. Continue on. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Oh, I'm a robot and a sore this time. And handles the kids' bank cash. Elementary school. But good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can I help? Wow. Please, we're looking for you. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. Whoa. At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range. No, oh, hello. Other robots on the wall. Robots selling robots, too. It does absolutely all the work around the house. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches to the surveillance. <laughs> if you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. How much do they cost? Z ZT200, $2,000. The HJ400 mile now, only 3000 right This does not seem like a lot for a cool robot. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> a car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, uh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Hi. Kara. My name is Kara. Cool. Um, that happened. Alright. Credits. I mean, intro credits. There we go. We're in Detroit.
That's a lot of smoke and steam and all that. <laughs> so retro. Fancy. We got drones. Cool fancy trains. Bye. Super speed. Oh, this looks so nice. This game came out in like 2018 or something. Looks so nice. Uh, it lost drops because Android? That's, that's, that's something. Losing job to robots? That's 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 tough. Written directed by David Cage. November fifth, twenty thirty eight. This is fourteen years in the future. It's not that far. I read that right, 2038 and 2024. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's, that's actually not that far. It's kind of crazy. Uh, not who am I. Just a random lone robot in the park going to a paint shop. Oh, uh, ooh, a book. Thing. Read. Tech Addict. Secrets of Android. How Cyberlife designed an Android to coexist with humans versus VR M MMO RPG reaches one million views. Okay, that that was hard to say. Secrets of Android. How Cyberlife designed its androids to coexist with humans. Designed designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge. Cyberlife had to overcome. Jason Graff, director of the humanization department at CyberLife, unrevealed some of his design secrets in our recent interview. The first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expressions, and soon realized that, that was something disturbing about them that made people un feel uncomfortable. That, that makes sense. Don't want something that perfect. CyberLife worked on ways to humanize its machines so that it could enter the homes and become a new part of the family members. Kind of creepy, but okay. <laughs> They created androids of both genders and all ethnicities, ethn eth analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic blinking was perfected, though totally unnecessary, along with breathing, facial hair, and many other human traits. Oh, just robots breathe too? That's interesting. It's perfect simulation of humanity down to the detail that androids simply don't need as a secret cyber life. Cyber life design success. So they're a little bit too human. Green Earth. Climate change up. Uh, the environments in Shenzhen American society. Miami giant seawall further 10 meters. Oh, that's quite a bit. Are we in the US? 10 meters. 10 feet? I don't know. A recent US census has found that as sea levels continue to rise, as climate change leads to more and more extreme weather. America once pr prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich. Waterside real estate is once in once top attractions like Miami and Los Angeles are experiencing fright flight, with wealthy residents opting for properties further inland at or at higher altitudes. This is driving up prices in once rural areas and the plummeting house values in previous desirable neighborhoods. While the while this might sound like an opportunity for poor Americans to really enjoy a new lifestyle, the reality is less attractive. Coastal properties are not just exposed to regular flooding, hurricanes, and other climate woods. They're also suffering from urban flight, with all services and amenities following richer customers into new areas. Urban development specialist Arnold Waters calls this the donut effect, where the previous centers of coastal cities get hollowed out. This census is just the latest example of how climate change is affecting American societies in ways previously not imagined. Altering not only the face of our environment, but the social fabric of our nation. That's deep. 
not really a green earth. Earth is kind of not green, it's all blue with all this tech. Hello, are you homeless? I'm just sitting there. Just sitting there, okay. Oh, hello. A jogging robot, a personal trainer. That's interesting and cool. I guess. Where am I even going right now? 68 meters this way. Okay, let's go. Keep on walking. Yeah, I know how to use my GPS. I figured it out. Hi, buddy. Doing okay. Yeah. Just leave the robot to clean it up. Right. See how people really treat them. <laughs> Not well. They throw their trash right in front of them. What's this guy talking about? Why do you look at me so Hey wait, demon? I'm not a demon. I know who you are. Who am I? I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. That's a lot of pressure to put on me. I look I look forward to my future of destroying Detroit. We prefer to live with machines than with our own kind. Oh, excuse me, buddy. Uh, I'm sorry. I walk right through there. 3021. That's far in the future. Where is this paint shop? Oh, Bel Bel Bellini paints. Alright. Color since 1909. That's a cool color wall. Hello. Identification verified. Oh, okay. Cool. Here is your order number 847. Thanks. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Okay, confirm. I will pay with my confirmed. head. Transaction complete. Hey. Thanks for the paints. I shall be leaving. It's very awkward exchange and the cool classical music playing in the background. Okay, uh, robot robot interactions are very straightforward. So I switch camera. What the? Just dodge me. Alright, take the bus home. Okay, I can do that. Oh, sorry. Oh, that was a robot. Hey. Right. This way. Alright. People protesting. I can probably guess it's about robots. Because that's what it all seems about. Hey buddy. Hey, hey, why are you looking at me like that? Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Hey now. Don't be mean to me. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs. Can you just push me over that easily? On <laughs> like like full metal. I feel like I would have been able to withstand that push a little better. That kick probably would have hurt. Unless am I made of like soft stuff? How did they pick me up? I'm probably like 200, 300 pounds. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. Yeah. You take your job next. See you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. All right. Thanks, officer. Though I'm pretty sure there's probably robot officers already. But he might be right about that, but we'll ignore that fact. Okay, this way. Wait for bus. I can do that. Simple enough. Android compartment. So we're segregated from all of them too. If 
Wow, we're very shaky. This is very awkward. Just silence the robots. Where are we going? 53 downtown? Is that where we're going? Okay. We switching to somewhat new or still playing? Oh, okay. Walking in the park. Let's see. What did I miss? I missed something. Stare at the hot dog vendor. Oh, I missed that in direction. And listen to the busker. Oh, huh, huh. It's okay. Shades of color. Alright, November 5th, 2038. Oh, we're back to this car. Oh, well, burnt down house? Oh, nice. Very colorful. Lovely home. But you don't look so lovely. You look very mean. I'm going. Be there in a second. Join Todd. Whoa, wait a second. Enjoy the scenery of you machines. Coming? Oh, calm down. Calm down. I'm going. I'm going. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it. Where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! No. Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Hi. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Sure, I'll do your job for you. I got Start you. Start it down here, then you do upstairs. Scan environment. Okay. Time to do some cleaning. Start with the pizza boxes and whatever else is up here. I'll collect trash and trash. Bin. TV on. Take. All right, collect trash. Here we go. All this junk food. Let's put it in there. Yeah, Dad, just put the whole plate in there. Okay, cool. We don't need plates in this place. Maybe. Depends on what you need. Don't walk garbage away. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Yeah, yeah. I'll Throw some more of this away. Yeah, same place. You know. A little beer and pizza. What a wonderful combo. A trash gone. A pickup. Alright, take out trash. We'll do. Do that this way or the other way? Or two street. Wait, I figured it out. There we go. Oh, wrong. Got this. Come. There we go. It's way harder to control a robot than it looks. Garbage in there. And back into this wonderful home. Was that? Okay, I was going to look at the bus, but I guess not. Uh oh, somebody's not. Somebody's tweaking. He needs his fix. Finish first one. Good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Sure, will do. Let's supposed to clean all of this. Ah, who cares? Oh, uh, I didn't finish all of downstairs. Oh, read Andrew. Oof. I forgot to do a lot of stuff. Oh, somebody's definitely going to be mad at me. Yeah, let's just not ask what he's doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. 
urgent tasks. Oh, look. All sports. Android power. Should it be outlawed? Football frenzy, the latest transfer speculation. Android power, should it be outlawed? In its third game of the season, Android pitcher X67 threw a pitch that broke the 120 mile mark. The human batsman wasn't able to swing until the glove had already reached the catcher's glove. Androids were introduced as one per team innovation, but they have come to dominate team strategy. Every draft seems a major professional baseball team is breaking their own transfer records to purchase the latest Android models, but is this is the game suffering? That doesn't seem right. Just having a robot do all this work for you? Jenny Watersfield, ahead of the fansies home run, says fans are becoming disenchanted. The magic of the sport is seeing the limits of human potential. Machine breaking these kinds of records just isn't exciting or surprising. But not everybody agrees. Christopher Lennox, a baseball pundit and ex picture thinks Andrews are making the game more exciting. These machines are shaking things up and pushing players to do even better. The game can only survive by evolving. I guess that's also true. The transport innovation that's shaking up California. Connecting the dots. Political politics and focus. Are American senators really corrupt? China's earthquake killed 10,000 people. Yeah, that's just casual like subtitle like 10,000 people just casually died in the bottom transfer innovation that are shaking up California the new sub tube completed its first journey today the Manhattan to downtown LA in under two hours less than half the five hour flight time the top speed of 1,800 miles per hour was made possible because of the tube travels through a depressurized chamber providing a near frictionless environment for its magnetic mag mag magnetized motors I said that completely wrong but whatever Commuters, the race raises the uh, tantalizing prospects of finishing a long shift in the Big Apple and putting your feet up on the Golden Coast. Okay. California's property market markets are reaching the suburban prices have skyrocketed sixty four percent. LA's realtor Charlene Lau Low says she knows where the new buyers are coming from, the East Coast type, specifically New Yorkers. They see a chance to keep the New York New York City salary while enjoying an LA lifestyle and taking the scrambling over each other to take real take advantage. Oh my god, I'm bad at reading. Real estate isn't the only thing that's shaking up. School places are rapidly filling and suburban retailers are re racking up prices in in anticipation of all the New York dollars flooding in. Long time Californians are expected to be pushed out from the cities, which is why they've been protesting the new line. As one of the angry demonstrators put it, first Detroit takes our jobs and New York takes our homes. When's it gonna be? Alright. It's a lot of jobs here. Okay. That is not a site I wanna see. Um application rejected. Uh, jobs, bank stuff, okay. I didn't clean any of the first four, so that probably can get mad at me. So, I clean up here instead. Tidy. It's ti tidy. It's a guitar. Oh, let's just place it there. Oh, another book to read. Alright, more reading. In this one. Android's QB. Cyber Life unveils Android quarterback. Slam Dunk basketball start. Star Gary Gibbons interview. Jesus, I it's hard to read that. Android QB. Cyber Life unveils Android quarterback. American football has largely resisted the spread of Android players with top tier games still an exclusively human affair. But this may be about to change following Cyber Life's recent unveiling of the technical demo QB1000, an Android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone and hitting a target six inches, inches wide. Six inches wide. The model is also programmed with over 1,500 plays. Wait, 1,500 plays from the classics such as bootlegs and handoffs to more specialized maneuvers, all of which can be adapted in real time. QB1000 was revealed as the recent CyberLife exhibition in Detroit, where the Android manufacturer showed a variety of prototypes designed to show the potential of bleeding edge technology. 
While Cyberlife's latest invention has some fans drooling, Roy Kinstone, founder of the anti-Android fan group, sees a sinister aspect. Cyberlife knows exactly what they're doing, and they're doing this demonstration. They hope to distort our distort our sports the way the same have all the others. Despite the reservations, the some consider this simply as a matter of time with basketball and baseball already complaining, com contemplating Android players. The LED sporting QB might just be around the corner. A lot to do with sports and a lot to do with jobs and all that. The price of life. How driverless vehicles make decision life or death. Ah, this actually sounds really interesting. When a driverless vehicle foresees an accident, the car's computer makes life and death decisions. For example, deciding which two pedestrians to hit. The exact process by which the uh, makes decision is not very well understood. Martin Forlong of Crown Car Pro Crown 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 Cars tries to clarify in these situations the car image system gathers data to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, life expectancy, etc. etc. in a blink of the eye. Data and is parsed through the public records to determine to uh, to determine martial status, employment records, life expectancy, and whether they have children. The car then assigns a value to each possible victim based on criteria and their contributions contributions to society. We put a premium on lives that will save the others, lives like doctors and nurses. So it better be important. Or you're screwed. All these may sound very reasonable, but Felix Gamble, head of the Anti-Automation League, AAL, says the system has no right to make such judgmental judgments. Somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable to society than a doctor. That kind of information is irrelevant in sense, 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 I don't know that word, of human life. Before long, dismiss such claims. We want our cars to make the best possible choices. That means acting on the basis of all the information they can gather. The more the... The more the better. That's interesting. See who will die, who will live. If you're important to the world or not. That's, that's, that's very interesting. You gotta make your bed. You don't do it yourself. Be fair, no, did oh, I. I don't make my bed much. Just bag of potato chips lying here. Tidy up. Oh, and beer bottles. Can't forget those. Jeez, I just wanted to clean the countertop and I started cleaning the whole room for me. Thanks. What's going on here? Switch on. And okay, it's uh, more sports stuff. A TV show. Unemployment. Wow, that's, that's a. According to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to thirty. That's a lot. Thirty. That's 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 a, that's, a, that's a lot of employment. Wow. Ventilate. Ventilate window. Cool. Heidi. What was this? Pick up. YK500 Looks like a child on there But they wouldn't show me it Alright, clean the mess Okay Okay, yeah, just throw me to the shot Shot I don't want to go in there after you just did Went in there Okay, good. I don't need to see you clean that. Thank you. I really do not want to see that. My bathroom cleaned. Right, what about in here? The other bathroom. Okay. Tidy up the bottles. Tidy up the hamper. And wash the floors. Scrub a dub dub. Oh, I got this. Nice. Squeaky clean. Now, time for Alice's room. I just want to tidy up your room a little. Go. The first time I, I talk. Two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? 
Let me just tidy up your room. Sorry. You can hide in your fort. Alice in Wonderland. Ironic. Let's see what else we got in here. Just, just watch you play with your stuff. Alright, uh. Uh. Cool drawings. What's up here? Books. More books. Seems you like reading. <laughs> nice. Cool. Very awkward. Very silent. I'll make the bed for you. There we go. Is that all I gotta do? Oh, ventilate your room. Can't forget about that. Ooh, that's the wrong button. There we go. Get some fresh air into your room. Ledge. That I guess important for something. Okay. Can I talk to Alice? That's my next objective. Cool. Wait, wait a second. 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 Wait, wait a second. Lock box. Okay. Get it. Personal stuff. Can I talk to you? Uh, fractal friendly diplomatic. I don't know what fractal means. Diplomatic sounds way too uh serious. Let's go friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Uh, mother interests. Uh, interests. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. We're really pushing her here. You seem quiet. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. Yeah, definitely don't scare you. I your look scary. You I'm a robot. Me. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? I scared the child away. No, of course. <laughs> But I was given something. Yeah. Okay, open the box. Open. What's in the box? Family picture? Four leaf clover? It's also a music box, maybe, is it? Interesting. That's, um, something, you know, bleeding from the head. Oh, is that supposed to- Okay, that just got really dark. That just got a little bit darker. I think we know what kind of man Todd is. Not the very good one. Not the doll. Yeah, let's just put all this back. I don't think Todd would be too happy to see all that. And just leave the key in there too, okay. Alright, time to go confront Todd. And see what I gotta do after I didn't do most of what I needed to do. Because I'm that good. I might get beat. Because that seemed what happened last time. I don't think I got hit by a car. Oh yeah, dinner. Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. Dad's a low life. Huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job. Take care of his family. <clears throat> Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up. Okay. I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Okay, I'm getting a little rough here. <laughs> Can I do something, or do I just have to stand here and watch? God. What am I doing? 
I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. This is very confusing. That was a lot to unpack there. Yeah, I cleaned all of the first floor, definitely. Kara sees gun, and I didn't see that, but... I did discover a ledge. I did not see a gun. I wish I did. That would have been cool. Anyways, I think I'm actually going to leave this one on here. I missed a lot compared to when I played this before. Wow. I got about to see a gun. Cleaning the whole first floor. I skipped that whole section. Because I'm that good at this game. But yeah, I'm going to end this one here. Hope you guys all enjoyed. See you later.